Hi there, I'm Andy and welcome to my channel about crypto. In today's video, I just want to talk a bit about Bitcoin, Ethereum, overall the state of the crypto market and about NFTs as well, because I think we are seeing something quite interesting when it comes to the relationship between the crypto market and NFTs. As always, if you find those videos helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and also please do check out my course Crypto Like a Pro. You can find the link in the description. So let's start with Bitcoin first. What we have here, of course, is Bitcoin's price chart. And recently, Bitcoin's been hovering around 16K or so. But I think what's really interesting, probably for most people, is where is the bottom, how low it will go. And at the moment, we have quite a few indicators with which, which would suggest that the bottom is already in or we are going to hit very, very soon. But I think what's quite important is to look at the volume. So if I move the price out of the way a bit, and if you look at the volume, so basically those vertical lines at the bottom, you can see that when FTX collapsed a couple of weeks ago, this was basically the highest volume we had since the beginning of the pandemic in March 2020. We had a couple of other quite big spikes, but nothing of this magnitude. So all of those crashes here, including the beginning of the war in Ukraine, then cause as much of a spike as the collapse of FTX. In other words, for another big drop in price, we would need an event of a similar magnitude. Because I think it's sensible to speculate that those who are likely to sell already sold, right? Not many people held, given the volume here, during that collapse. Or those who held are most likely the people who will carry on holding unless we have, again, similar kind of event and this drop was if you look at the price this was about 28 percent drop so another 28 percent from the current price would be roughly eleven and a half thousand dollars give or take of course this is just a speculation but if we had another similar event to the collapse of ftx i don't know collapse of binance tether or something like that well we can expect that the price would dip to around 11k or so if there is no such event if bitcoin just continues so sorry if the whole space continues more or less as it is then there is pretty good chance that the prices may dip a bit but probably not that much of course we have to remember that we are in a pretty nasty macroeconomic situation so even if crypto will do all right well if let's say there's a big stock market crash, that will of course impact crypto as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be just an event specifically related to crypto, such as let's say collapse of Binance or something like that. It could be something, some outside event that could drive a sell-off. However, what I find really interesting is what NFT has been doing in over the last few days or the last couple of weeks. Bitcoin and ETH are either going down or just going sideways. There isn't really that much going on there. But there seem to be a lot happening in the NFT space. And I mean both actually projects doing stuff and also some activity and essentially prices pumping, even if no one knows exactly what's happening with a particular project, if that makes sense. So we have projects like Cypher or Collider Craftwork and their Cyphers. They are launching their game or the tournament is starting today so that's 28th of november and the price is really really good they were trading for around one eth not that long ago when when a lot of news about the game came out just before the summer so yeah that's one project where there is a lot happening in the background and the entry price is really really good we have 10k tf and the other side so everything in the Yuga Labs ecosystem. Yuga Labs recently purchased 10 KTF. So the prices pumped a bit. They were around 0.16 not that long ago. And it's quite clear that 10 KTF will play some important part in the new other side ecosystem. What that part is going to be, we don't know yet, but again, it's quite interesting to see that there is something developing there. There were hints that there will be another trip to the other side. So another tech demo in Q4, I mean, we are pretty much at the beginning of December now, so it's highly likely. And if you look at posts on Yuga Labs website or Bored Apes, sorry, their Twitter, 
uh, you can see that there is they are hinting that something will be happening quite soon. So I think we can expect another tech demo very, very soon. And from what I heard from one of the interviews with, with Yuga Labs, apparently a fully playable version of other side is coming in 2023. Well, 2023 is just around the corner. I appreciate that I didn't say when in 2023, but we are not looking at, I don't know, three to five years time frame. This is really coming very, very soon. So it'll be really interesting to see how it will impact other side and 10 KTF. Then we have plenty of other projects. I mean, Mutant A Piacht Club, of course, not a cheap project, but the floor price was around 11 ETH just a couple of days ago. It's now up to 14. It's quite a ni nice bump. Neo Tokyo has been pumping a lot. Again, it's another project where there is something happening. If you know the history of Neo Tokyo, you may know that there were a lot of riddles before the first mint. So similar thing is happening now. Alex Becker, one of the founders of Neo Tokyo, has been hinting on Twitter that there is something happening again. He said it multiple times before that there won't be another season of Neo Tokyo. So we have season one, and season two, citizens and outer citizens. He said that there will be never season three, but there is a hint that there will be something else. And the price of Neo Tokyo citizens went up quite a bit. I made a video not that long ago and this was one of the projects I mentioned. The floor was around 6 ETH, it's now 9. And Outer Citizens, which were around, I think, 0.8 ETH, if not lower, are now 1.1. So the prices are going up, but they're still nowhere near, of course, what they used to be in the bull run. And again, it's one of the, those projects where there is clearly something happening in, in the background. And it's quite interesting to see what that's going to be. And then we have the, this project, which... It's quite an interesting one. It's actually, I first heard it from my wife, uh, the MEMS by Punk6529, and they had a massive pump recently over like the last week or so. The most expensive one, Freedom to Transact, was I think around three or four ETH about a week or so ago. This one was around one ETH. I think first time when I looked at it, it was like 0.3 ETH or 0.5. A lot of those pumps like crazy in the last few literally a week, week and a half. And no one knows exactly what, what is the plan with this project. There, that's season one MEMS, and there will be a few more coming out in, in December. And then in January, there will be season two starting. And if you haven't heard of Punk6529, it's definitely worth following him on Twitter. He's, he's a very smart guy. He's a huge, huge NFT collector. I mean, you can check out his NFTs on OpenSea. There are literally millions, if not tens of millions worth of NFTs there. So he's really, really big in this space. And this project is going to be something, I think, really interesting. If you look at any of those NFTs, there is this really long list of properties here. And it's not very clear what those properties what role they will play in the future? Is it all just a joke? Is it? Is there something important there? What? How exactly all those all those um, cards will link together? So, yeah, it would be really interesting to see what what will happen there. So overall, what I wanted to say is that we are in this phase of a bear market when I think all the flippers, all the people who just wanted to have really quick profits, were pretty much washed out. I mean, there are still, of course, opportunities to make, make quick profits. And I'm sure that there are still plenty of people still doing that, but they are no longer the majority of people in crypto and NFT space. I think people who are around now are those who believe in, in this space over a longer period of time, or people who are actually creating something in this space. And the atmosphere, I think, is quite different now. If you go into many discords, especially the more established ones. No one is bitching anymore about prices going down and stuff like that. It's more about, well, okay, what's happening now and where are we going in the future rather than just whining about oh, why the floor price is today a bit lower than it was yesterday. So it feels like we are getting very close to the bottom of this bear market. It may still take a while, but the atmosphere is certainly changing. And yeah, it's quite interesting how NFTs seem to be decoupling from, from the rest 
or well, from the traditional crypto market, if there's such thing as a traditional crypto market. And I'm really excited to see how this space will develop and to what degree it will not follow crypto price trends, but it will form its own trend, if that makes sense. So yeah, slightly different video this time. Crypto is not really doing that much in terms of price action, so I thought I will focus more on NFTs and just the space overall. And I think that's it from, from me for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.